Well, in a recent video, I brought up about being yourself in a new community. In the new community, I find myself wrapped and in, encased in right now with uh, with the furries. To say I've met some pretty amazing people, uh, I've met some pretty nice and kind people, and there's been, of course, the ones that I have met that are out there. And obviously, I've been through a series of emotions and a series of a lot of things in the last little while that has taken me on a roller coaster. And one was being able to draw. And today, I bring you a hundred days. I am at my hundredth day at this point of drawing. And I'm at a point where I never thought I would be. I never knew the the idea of being able to do something like this and now i move forward and am i going to continue drawing yes the last little while i've taken a little bit more of a casual approach to it than sitting there and regimentally trying to draw something i can do a quick little sketch now in about five to ten minutes uh is it perfect god no is it a starting of something more it is and because of that uh, it, it's a lot of a, a lot of different things go through my head. Where I sit there, I'm in the middle of nowhere, just taking five minutes to, to relax while I'm at work, that type of thing. Uh, that's where I have this pocket sketchbook that where I've been doing things. And then also just to try and wind down some nights at night, just to put something on, on a page has been a very, very nice thing to be able to do. It relaxes the mind. It gives me something to focus on and forget about the day's woes. And that's part of the reason why I've done that. And at the same time, finding my place in, in just a fandom that apparently I was adjacent to for a very long time. Um, you know, when I did start the channel, one of the things that I had people going is, oh, you're going to get confused to be furry. You're going to go down that path. And that was eight years ago when I really pushed into it. And one of, like, one of the pieces that I have on the channel, one of the emojis, one of the original pieces of artwork uh, that I had with the Phoenix and like the motif in my, in my room, my case is a Phoenix. I have Phoenixes on my wall. Orange is my favorite color. These are all things that it wasn't a coincident that I walked into a situation where I would find myself immersed in it. When it comes to art, I, I've had a very, very unique way at it. I remember when I was in school, I, I, I was dismissed. I was told, you don't have any raw talent. I wasn't even allowed to put my pen to paper because people told me that I wouldn't amount to anything because I have no years or, or time into this. And that was in high school. Uh, I wasn't allowed to take art as a uh, as a subject in that sense to learn how to draw art. I wasn't allowed to go that route. I instead had to go and live on the streets uh, and then become a tradesperson later on just to try and survive and provide. And now I, that I've passed that, I'm past that whole stage where I'm just trying to survive and I'm actually able to listen to myself listen to what I want, listen to things that I want to do, become happier. It's a very, very much different scenario that is playing out in front of me. Tomorrow is not written yet, and I'm living in the moment at this point, and I'm just having a blast doing it. Now, let's see what I've done in the last little while. Now, you know, obviously I've taken a custom to the avatar that you see below me, that is a completely different thing when you're in what's called virtual reality chat. When you're in these spaces, it's a totally different uh, scenario. You're, you're, you become something more. You become something that's larger than life. And you know, recent things in, in one of my videos saying how to stay true to yourself. That's the journey that I'm trying to take and something more. So when it comes to the artwork, I'm also trying to just push things forward and do something more with it and just learn a little bit. Obviously when I'm at work, I don't have any reference. I don't do anything. So it's all off the top of my head. And this is, this is the situation that I find myself in where I do something like this. It's a really rough and there's nothing more, but I believe myself, I am starting to learn kind of a fundamental basis on this as well. Right? So a couple things. Some of these are obviously they're very light sketches because there's stuff that I should go back and maybe draw over, but I'm like, I don't need to. I don't need to because this is all 
for me is just practice and a way to relax is more of it. And you know, I haven't done too much in this, but at the same time, I'm just trying to learn a little bit more of what I'm doing, right? So that's all that I've been able to get here because shortly after that, um, the last video, um, I wasn't at work. work, work was done. So there isn't a lot in this book left. There also isn't a ton in my sketchbook, although I have kind of taken a little bit more with it and gone a little bit longer on some things. I'm trying to remember, where did I finish? I think I was there. <laughs> yes, I can't remember if I showed this in the last one. There we go, there we go. So I, I came home one night and I drew this and I laughed my ass off at it because of how derpy and how ridiculous it looked. A pig's snout with, with the, the bent over ears. I rolled over dying laughing at myself going, what have I drawn? It's absolutely hilarious to me to draw something so ridiculous. And then of course I turned around and just kind of tried to draw a few things, just trying to understand what I was doing there. Um, getting a, a sense of things and you know, when you start with something and then you just don't go forward with it. You know, I've got this big shaped head. It's nothing too crazy ultimately. But then I did get into a few other things, you know, trying to draw the more the more dragon jerk sort of uh, scenario at that sense. This one, another started and then stopped. And then we get into, uh, I have no clue what I'm trying to do. I will sit there and draw what I'm looking at, or I will search up some photos. So this was another Twitch streamer. Uh, he recently got affiliate. Um, Helljumper is his name. Amazing person to talk to. Um, and if you aren't following a lot of people over on Twitch, this is one I would go there and follow. Um, he, he does a lot of uh, Star Wars. Um, a lot of uh, Arma, uh, and these scenarios, the scenarios that Helljumper does are absolutely immersive. And I haven't seen anything like that. I haven't dove into a lot of that type of game. And it is absolutely a unique experience to sit there and see someone dive into a, a role-playing aspect in with with the whole scenario that lays out where they they're talking commands back and forth. They have command centers and stuff like that. It's absolutely a fun time to watch. Um, and this is someone I met just in VR chat, but then I came across their photos. Um, and so I was like, okay, let's, let's throw that up there. Um, you know, and, and people always tell me, never trust a fox, <laughs> never trust a fox. But then I just look at it as the meme behind itself. Um, and of course, under that, under that is a very, very unique individual. Uh, he is absolutely amazing. Uh, he, he did the sweater that you see on my avatar. He's done some amazing things for friends and I can't thank under that enough. Uh, and that's what he goes by for his VR chat name. Um, honestly, I have, it's absolutely amazing when I can step into VR chat and be able to talk to people and be able to do things. It's different than like stepping into a discord call. Right, you actually have something you can focus on. You have an emotional state there. You can speak to people and you see people. And in VR, it's a much different scenario. And I honestly think it's a very, very unique way to talk to people and, you, and interact with people. And it's fun, right? You can do silly things. You can interact with the environments. You can play games. Holy cow, is there ever a plethora of games in VR chat. The, if you think of the game that exists, it's probably been ported over to VR chat. It's crazy. This was a basic Vulper that I did. Um, the the Vulper out there is a, a base model for VR chat. Um, it's also being used in a lot by a lot of Twitch streamers. It's actually a really unique model in that sense because it is so much more expressive in those things. Um, so I was like, you know what, let's try and draw a Vulper and have an idea behind it. And then maybe I can take this, trace it out and then color it because then it's something else that I can do. And then we get into me. Uh, you know, there's certain things that are going on and obviously I, I do really see um, myself in a, a different light. I see things very, very differently diving into this fandom and it's 
something very unique and I hold on to it very dearly right now. Um, I've met a lot of, like I said, I've met a lot of people, but then when you have an image of yourself in this type of light and yes, the coloring is very, very bright and vibrant. And in real life, I am not a very bright and vibrant person. I am a very, very set and try to be centered person. And I am, I see things in a very different light. I am quite disturbed in that, in that way. Um, I've lost friends to mental health. I've, I've uh, lost friends to just health conditions. And things in real life can get very dark and gritty. And for myself to sit there and see myself as an avatar that's going to be much more brighter and much more happier and much more can up, uplift people, that's the way I look at it. You know, I've always championed mental health on this channel. I've always championed um, trying to be something larger than life. And that's where I find myself in that sense, moving forward in a sense where things are just that larger than life attitude, larger than life look is absolutely fantastic. And for me, it's brought on a hell of a lot more happiness because now I feel like I can be a lot more of myself, um, even though at the same time, I, it, sometimes it feels like I put on a facade. I put on the avatar and it feels like I'm a facade, but it feels natural in that sense, which is a completely different way of looking at things. I sit there, I've done the VTuber stuff. We did Extra Life as the VTuber with my Cinder Shadow uh, avatar. And honestly, it was some of the most fun I've ever done, being able to express myself in that way and just being able to do more things. I have no, as, you, as all of you can see, I have no problems putting my face on, on camera or talking. I've done this for years at this point. And it's always nice to see the person behind, behind the lens. And right now, I really do feel like I am living the best I can be and being true to myself. And now rendition 2.0 comes into play. I'm, uh, I, those around the channel that might not know, I am, I have roots with medieval uh, times and medieval sort of takes. Hell, my wedding was a medieval wedding. It's, uh, it's a very, very sense, different sense in that. I love, I used to love playing Dungeons and Dragons. I, I love just experimenting with role-playing aspects in that way. And now I came across something and I was like, you know what, this is a very unique way to, to form my avatar and do something more. And in the future, does this maybe reflect a 2.0 of where my persona is going to go, where it becomes the more medieval knight, where it becomes the more willing to sit there and fight. And that's something I've always done. That's something I've always championed with mental health is fighting against your mental health and standing tall and being that person. A couple more just random sketches. You know, this one here, I saw a picture of a fox. It's got a lot of fire. I actually am tempted to do this one out because I really do like the coloring that I, I, I envision with this one because I'd like to see like the 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 orange yellow fires coming off uh, this particular one that I have there and then I just got a couple others that I've gone forward and just kind of trying to sketch something more and like this one here I have no reference on this and I just draw it out and just drawing it out there without a reference I did this in about five minutes. This is the state that I'm in where I, I can sit there and actually pencil out something. And if I have a reference, like a little bit more here, where I have a reference with the, the head, it just becomes something more and something that I can work towards. So this is it. This was a hundred days of me learning. It's three videos. Um, I'll, I guess I'll put it all in one playlist if you wanna see it from the start to the end. Um, and you can see where the progression really has moved. And I gotta say in, in that progression, in the journey of all of this, um, I have well documented my, my dive into the fandom, um, my changes in that sense. And do I feel like I've changed as a person? 
no. I feel like I'm more alive than ever. I feel like I've done something more and I feel like I'm larger than life. And that has been something that I have, I've been on YouTube is always wanting to be that little bit that's larger than life. And I really feel that sense right now. I have a creative spark and now I got to sit there and figure out where I'm going to go with it. Anyway, I'm going to sign off here. I am your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I am going to see you again very soon. And please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I know things are going to be a little bit more spotty for videos. I do go back to work, but I'm, I'm taking it back a little bit just because I don't think I can produce the quality content. I don't think I can produce something um, that's going to push the channel. And honestly, YouTube doesn't pay my bills. This is a hobby. This is something that I need to treat as a hobby. And so I need to take a step back a little bit and put out the content that I want to put out that all of you can see and enjoy. Anyway, have yourselves a great day. I will see you again very soon.